the world of VR, a lot of what determines our experience is not only what we can see, but how we can interact with it. The company Bebop Sensor has developed a virtual reality glove that offers the feeling of much more realistic interaction with VR. So we're here at CES showing off our Forte Data Glove, which is an interactive device that measures what your fingers are doing with really accurate bend sensors. We're giving you haptic feedback so you can feel immersion and touch, a sense of touch in uh, VR, which cameras can't do. Uh, and we're also giving it to you in a form factor that's comfortable, natural. You don't have to hold a controller anymore. You can just naturally interact with a VR environment. Um, really increase the immersion and experience. If you are looking to use this VR glove with your Oculus headset or in place of your PlayStation controller, you will need to wait. Right now, this glove is not part of the consumer market of VR sensors. So this right now is an enterprise product. We're focusing on Fortune 500s or uh, military type users. Uh, going consumer is tough. You have to have a pretty low price point. You have to make 10, 20,000 at once. So uh, we're starting the enterprise first, but perhaps one day we'll be more of a consumer product. Fortunately, that is not to say that this product was not designed with consumers in mind. The folks at Bebop Sensors are very confident that there is a future in consumer markets for this glove. The gaming market um, has been asking and looking for a, a really nice uh, low form factor, high performance data glove for a long time. Um, we think we have something that's pretty compelling, uh, but unfortunately just we're not at a gaming point yet, uh, but potentially in the future. Once you figure out how to you know, lower costs, once you scale, uh, it's not beyond the pale that this could be a gaming product in the next two years. Um, it's just not our focus for the, the near term. If you want to find out even more about Bebop sensors and their VR glove, you can check out their website listed below and make sure you check out our other videos as part of Dragon Rider Network's coverage of CES 2020.